everybody. Welcome to the Rockbridge Regional Library. My name is Miss Wendy and it's story time. <laughs> so as we always start our story time, let's begin with our Hello Friend song. Now I just saw a message that Kaya and Nemo are here. Hello guys. I'm so glad you guys are here. Okay, so if you remember, Hello Friends, we do this for hello. And our friends, these are our two friends and they hug and then it's time to say hello. Okay, are you ready? We're going to do it twice. One, two, three. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello again. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Well, if you hadn't noticed, we're not in the story time room right now. We are in the library. And I thought it would be fun this week to kind of think about the library. It's super cool and there's lots of fun things here that you may or may not know about because we spend a lot of time back here in the children's area, but do we ever venture out into the other side of the library? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> well, you know, I think it's time we explore. So before we get started, I have a question for you. And I have a question for Miss Carol, who you guys don't realize, but she's right behind the camera. <laughs> are you ready for a story? Yes. Okay, are you guys ready? I'm gonna, now, you will not find a ukulele on the bookshelves at the library, <laughs> so you know. This one is secretly stashed for a very short period of time. So, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands, okay? One, two, three. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, one I have to pull my chair around so I can sit. If you're ready for a story, sit real still. Freeze. If you're ready for a story, sit real still. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, sit real still. Can you hold it? Ah, deep breath in. Hold it and out. Let's do one more. In. Out. I always like to do that before I read because it just gets me a little bit ready. Now, this book seems like the perfect thing to read today. And what I like about this book is it also includes a song. So there's parts of this book that we will be kind of singing together too. So you'll be able to tell. And this is called The Library Book. Now, if any of you guys are musicians at home, you could actually check out this book and learn to play this song. I tried and it did not work. <laughs> I'm, a, I, I'm learning piano with Rose as she goes. So this is written by Tom Chapin and music by, and Michael by Ch Chuck Gronig. And it comes from Athe Athenium, Athenium Books for Young Readers, excuse me. Saturday morning and the rain is pouring. Dad worked late last night. He's in there snoring. Same old stuff on TV. Boring. So what if I can't go out and play? 
I know what I'll do today. Now this is where the song comes in. I'm going down to the library, picking out a book, check it in, check it out. Okay, so that's the little bit of a song. That's part of it anyway. The dictionary, picking out a book, check it in, check it out. All right, so she's excited. Now I like books and they like me. So when I go to the library, I sit down in my favorite chair and check to see who's there. Maybe one book, maybe two. Take me home, says Winnie the Pooh. And if we have to travel far, I'll bring my honey jar. All right, Winnie the Pooh is set. Here comes the song. Oh, I'm going down to the library, picking out a book, check it in, check it out. Gonna say hi to the dictionary, picking out a book, check it in, check it out. Ooh, look at all the choices. Sleeping Beauty yawned and said, I'll come when I get out of bed. But Madeline says, let her nap, and jumps into my nap. M my lap, excuse me. <laughs> the cat in the hat says, hey, I'll go. Don't take him, cries Pinocchio. Don't take that cat to your address. He'll always make some mess. That's true. Here comes the song. Oh, I'm going down to the library, picking out a book, check it in, check it out. Gonna say hi to the dictionary, picking out a book, check it in, check it out. <laughs> there goes little Jenny. Mrs. Parker's back behind the checkout desk today. The Cheshire Cat jumps on her head and says, let's play. P says, goodness, are you sure you want all these? Oh, yes, we shout together. She says, shh, quiet, please. Here we go singing again. Oh, I'm going down to the library, picking out a book. Oh, you know what, guys? I was supposed to do that quiet. Let's start it again, whispering. Oh. To the dictionary, picking out a book, check it in, check it out. But you gotta be quiet at the library. The seven dwarfs begin to shout, Say, take us with you, check us out. Then Cinderella gets her gown and Babar grabs his crown. There's his crown. Then Curious George swings from the shelf. Along comes Mother Goose herself. Out the door we danced and sang, the whole library rang. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm going down to the library, picking out a book, check it in, check it out. Gonna say hi to the dictionary, picking out a book, check it in, check it out. Look at them already. Can you, oh, look at Miss Parker. Ah! I'm going down to the line. Oh, shh. <laughs> Picking out a book. Check it in. Check it out. There she is. She got it. And there's Winnie the Pooh. So many fun and magical stories to find in your library. That's just a fun book. And now I, we will all have that song stuck in our head the rest of the day, which is great. <laughs> So, okay, so I thought, have we been on the other side of the library? Can I show you one of my favorite spots? I'm going to take the camera and I'm going to turn it around and we're going to go to my favorite spot. So, one of my favorite spots in the library is the local history section. 
local history section is where you're going to find, excuse me, <laughs> is where you're going to find all of the books and information me, about our local history. You'll find books, you'll find maps, you'll find old newspapers. And this is an area of the library you guys might not spend too much time. But you should. Local history. So one of my favorite things about this part, there's some drawers over here. Inside, maps. All kinds of really cool maps you can look at. With a parent, of course. And they're all full of, there's one about Rockbridge County. Now, another cool thing about over here is the newspapers. Have you ever seen all these big binders in the library? Well, this is where they keep all the news gazettes. Papers are. Now, I'm going to hand this back to Miss Carol for a second because I thought it'd be fun to see what happened. In Rockbridge County, in 1974, that's the year I was born. <laughs> oh, kids, here's the old newspaper. It says, kindergarten chefs at Fairfield Elementary School whip up a delicious hat batch of pancakes Friday. And so there's a picture of them in the paper. This is from... April 24th, 1974. Did you guys know that this was back here in the library? Pretty cool. So why don't we sit down here and read a book? Now I brought this one because I thought we could all use a little laugh. And this is a silly book and there's a joke at the end. So pay attention. So see if you can get the joke at the very end. I'm going to turn around here if that's okay, Miss Carol. And let's see about this book. This book, 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 by Deborah Bress and illustrated by Tiffany Beek. This comes to us from Arthur A. Levine Books. Down at the farm, all was well until... Yeah, everything looks like it's okay. I wonder what's going to happen. The children went back to school and the animals had nothing to do. They had no rides to share, no tug of war to play, no one to scratch behind their ears or ruffle their feathers. Animals are bored. In the bright morning sun, the horse hung his head. The cow complained, and the goat grumbled. The pig pouted, the duck dozed off, and the hen heaved a sigh. <gasps> oh. Long about noon, with the sun high above the barnyard, the hen squawked, I'm bored, and I'm heading to town to find something to do. <laughs> That's my hen voice. That's my voice for everybody. <laughs> the animals followed her down the road. Oh, look where they're going. Live prairie. The hen has a flag, you know. I like that. Look! <laughs> God plugs the hen. <laughs> Happy faces! This must be the place we're looking for. I'll go in and see if I can find something to do. Nay, nay, whinnied the horse. You're too small for such a big job. Leave it to me. So there goes the horse. He's going to go check it out. The horse clip-clopped in. Politely, he asked for something to do. But the librarian could not understand the horse. All she heard was, nay, nay. So she, so the horse hung his head and clip-clopped out. All right, I guess that didn't work. Next, the cow plodded in. Politely, she asked for something to do, but the library could not understand the cow. All she heard was, what do you think this cow's going to say? You're right, moo, moo. 
So the cow complained and plodded out. They're having a communication problem. Now it was the goat's turn, and he trotted in. Politely, he asked for something to do. But the librarian could not understand the goat. All she heard was, what do you think the goat's going to say? Bah! Bah! <laughs> so the goat grumbled and trotted out again. Slowly, the pig ambled into the library. Politely, she asked for something to do. I do like how they all ask politely. That's nice. But all the librarian heard was, what's the pig going to say? <coughs> so the pig ambled out to tell her friends. Up flapped the hen, and she announced, I'm going in, and no one is going to stop me. Into the library, she flapped. Yeah. They should have let it kick him. Book! <laughs> Clucked the hen politely. <laughs> the librarian looked around and said, What's that noise? Book! Book! <laughs> Clucked the hen. The librarian scratched her head. Who's that? She asked. Book! 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 <laughs> Clucked the hen quite clearly. Book! Oh, is that what you want? Asked the library, brought librarian. And she handed the hen three books. Hooray. Oh, there they go. Back to the farm. They've got their books. They've got something to do. Back at the farm, the horse, the cow, the goat, the pig, the duck, and the hen gathered around the books. The barnyard was filled with nays and moos and baas and wink, wink and quacks. And whoop, whoop, whoops. <laughs> their sounds of delight lasted until sundown. All the animals were happy, except for the bullfrog. And do you know what he said? Oh. I already read it, read it, <laughs> read it. <laughs> he already read it. <laughs> It's in a ribbit, Reddit. I mean, I think it's funny. <laughs> That's a fun little book. All right, awesome. So there's another spot in the library that I think is pretty special. Now, it's far away in the library. First of all, I need to clean up my mess. Because if you pull any book, by the way, if you'd want to look at any of this stuff, I'm sure your parents would be, or your caregivers would be able to help you pull it out and look at it. Okay, so there's one more special place in the library that I like to go. Come here. It's all the way back. It's all the way back to the very back of the library. So, I don't know. Do you guys ever come all the way back here? This is where the audiobooks are. And the fiction and non-fiction. All you need to do is come into the library. They can help you get signed up. So let's see if anybody's at the front desk. Okay, there's a post to do. Miss Carol's going to help me try to find my book. <laughs> so let's see. Is there a kids? There is. What should they do if they want a library card? Well, Mom and Dad can go online to our website and fill out the registration, or you can bring. Now fill out this form, and then we'll issue you your very own library card. Awesome! And then, you know, the world opens up. So let's go read our last book. Why don't we go over to the sofa here in the reading area? Let me get on. That's okay. Maybe I'll just sit here. All right. So we've got one last spot. I thought it would be fun to read this book because... It has a really cool poem about libraries. Now, I've read a poem from this before, and I just had to read one more because this one is Book Joy, Love Joy, Poems by Pat Mora, Raul Colon. And the poem is called Library Magic. Vamos, let's go to the library family 
He shows them his favorite books and his cozy reading nooks. Vamos! Let's go to the library. His friends, hurry! They have libros in stacks and rows. Did you know that libros is books in Spanish? They laugh at funny puppet shows. Vamos! Let's go to the library. A treasure house that's free. Bring your friends and family. Computers, maps, and more. Open the magic door. Like Tomas, savor books and soar. Be a reader. Explore galore. I like that poem because it kind of magic and fun that you can find at a library. So there you have it. Come on down to the library. Check it out a book. Check it in. Check it out. Pick it out a book. So. Now that we're done at the library, the most important thing we should do as we leave is wash our hands. So, let's do our hand washing song. Ready? Finish. We'll do it twice. Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms, in between, in between. Rub them all together, rub them all together, now they're clean. Squeaky clean again. Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms. In between, rub them all together, rub them all together. Now they're squeaky clean. All right. Thank you guys for joining us for story time. Now here's one more bit of information. Tomorrow, it's going to be really fun. We're going to check out the bookmobile, guys. Our, our library, Mr. Bo, is going to bring the bookmobile around, and we're going to do story time from the bookmobile. So it should be really fun. Join us tomorrow at 1030. But until then, see you later, alligator, in a while, crocodile, give a hug, ladybug, a kiss, jellyfish, see ya. Big baboon out the door, dinosaur, take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly. Bye, friends. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.